All right, so today I'm gonna to shoot a video that I've been meaning to do for a while, and it all focuses around this number right here. This is to flow back to my display tank from the return pump. Right now I'm getting about 1,170 gallons per hour uh, back to the uh, display tank. The pump I'm using is a JBAL DCT 15,000, so I should be able to get around 4,000, or close to 4,000 gallons per hour through that pump. Um, but I'm only getting a little bit over a thousand. So what I want to try to do is simple. Uh, previously, I had a water blaster uh, 10,000 HY on the uh, system, um, and I had a one and a quarter inch uh, PVC plumbing from the pump uh, up the display. So I'm going to change that up a little bit. Went out and bought everything I need. This is all two inch plumbing, a um, few elbows. Uh, do have some T's. Uh, what reduced uh, down to one inch for the um, um, the Four different inputs back into the tank. Um, so this is going to be the project today: is to get uh, replace all my existing plumbing with this two-inch plumbing. So real quick shot of the um, existing plumbing that I have on the tank uh, from the return pump: uh, one and a half inch flex pipe, tees off at the top there. Uh, one inch goes up to the uh, frag tank, uh, then a quarter inch uh, past the skimmer. Uh, around the corner here and then to uh, the first of many elbows this one uh, actually just tees off and it will go to feed the uh, calcium reactor and the carbon reactor uh, back past here now here we do have the existing two inch plumbing around the two inch uh, FMM sensor um, so we'll keep that just cut off a little bit above the uh, couplers there and a little bit below that one put existing couplings in and continue with two inch um, here, once again, it reduces down to one and a quarter inch. I do have four outputs into the tank. Um, one there, one there, another one there, one at the end. Uh, I'm going to keep all that spacing the same, but all of this one and a quarter inch uh, PVC piping here are going to be changed out to uh, two inches. Now, this is what I'm going to do first. I'm just going to get some quick measurements of this top run along the top of the tank here. Um, you get the exact same measurements for the placements of the uh, outputs. Uh, cut and dry fit all of this first. So this is the completed upper return section. All four one inch outlets are in the exact same position as the existing ones. The only thing I didn't change was the piece at the end here. I'm not sure how long that piece is going to need to be before it connects back in to the upright section um, off the flow sensor there. So this last section here is what I'm going uh, to do. Um, and then the rest of the plumbing down and then around the corner here under this little shelf. So this little section here where the five gallon auto top off container and the um, CO2 um, canister sits, uh, CO2 tank sits, is the top comes off of her so you can see all the plumbing that goes from um, the four pipes of the uh, Herbie drain system and the return there. I'm also going to remove this uh, section here that feeds, there's a T that feeds the calcium reactor and the carbon reactor. I'm going to remove it and uh, replace it. So first thing I'm going to have to do is just turn off the uh, return pump, um, then we'll go from there. Okay, it's much, much later and everything is done. A um, couple things I want to point out real quick, a uh, couple things that I miscalculated on or miscut. Um, this outlet um, from the main return, this one inch PVC is too short, uh, so it'll probably splash when I turn everything on. This one is not as bad, but it's shorter than what I wanted. I realized my mistake and fixed the other two. Um, another thing that I can fix right now, or I'm not going to fix right now, is the actual two inch pipe from the return um, to the first set of elbows there. Um, that elbow is a little bit crooked, so it just throws off the pump. It's actually, it's, uh, the union is actually hitting against the side of the baffle there, so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. Also, I'm not going to hook up the frag tank or the calcium reactor. Um, I have the T there, but I've actually just capped that off. Um, so it's just doing nothing right now. It will allow me to run it though. 
Um, everything else is fine. Um, the line just come across here, come through the uh, stand there, back up through the two inch flow system sensor and back around. So I'm going to turn this on. Um, it's still a mess in here. I haven't cleaned up anything. Um, if it messes up, it messes up. If I have a leak, I have a leak. Um, if the flow doesn't increase, it doesn't, you know, it'd be a waste, a big old waste of time. So as you can see, the highest that it tested once before was, uh, 1,190. I think when I, First started this, it was 1,172, I do believe. So I'm just hoping for something a little bit higher than that. Like I say, the frag tank and the carbon reactor um, flow will remain at zero because they're not hooked up. So here we go. Let's hope for no leaks. All I'm gonna do is turn on the return pump. Definitely a decent amount of flow on all four outlets. Checking for leaks right now. Nothing up top. Oh. There's a loud sound I didn't want to hear. Also, I guess another way to tell if I'm getting more flow than what I did before is that I will lose a whole lot more water right here. It looks like I am. So that's a good thing and a bad thing. I'm able to put a little more salt water in over here. Turn a couple valves. Pump some salt water in the tank. Sorry, I know this is rough, guys. Definitely a whole lot more flow. Turn on my mixing pump here for salt water. You can see over here I can pump some salt water directly into the tank. On the mixing station. I'm gonna fill that up a little bit. A little bit higher than what I normally do. I'm not even sure how many more gallons I'm putting into it. There's a mag 12 that pumps from the mixing station over. Once again, still not seeing any leaks, which is great. This is a very rough quality video, folks. I do apologize. Alright, I am sorry about that. Um, phone doesn't have a lot of memory left for videos, I guess, so it cut off in the middle there. I'm not even sure where I left off. Um, I do want to point out a couple things real quick is that I do have the Herbie style overflow. And because there's definitely more flow going through the uh, system right now, you can see that that water is up probably about three quarters of an inch, maybe, going down the emergency drain on both sides. I heard a gurgling, so I'm going to have to adjust those. Uh, still have not looked at the readings on the apex yet. Um, I do want to go around to the front of the tank though. Exactly what's going on. No, I see it's late, so the light's about to go out. 
um, but you can tell a lot of flow, a lot of bubbles uh, on the first and the fourth outlet. The second two are pretty light in comparison, but I guess once I get some elbows of 45 or something on there, I'll straighten that up. Definitely kicking around the sand, covering that big old chalice that I had down there. Um, so, I'm just going to go back around. Uh, I'm going to actually just look at the uh, Apex now and see what it says. Like I say, I would hope for at least 2,000, um, but we'll see. Anything better than the 1,172, so I'm going to scroll down and see what I get. 1,933. And the only difference was changing from one and one quarter inch pipe to two inch pipe. Um, so right close to the 2000 that I wanted. Um, like I, said, I do have a few elbows and bends and stuff there. Once I put the, uh, the 45s on the end of the one inch outlets there in the tank, I'll probably get some more, a little bit more uh, of a decrease, but we'll see. Pretty happy with that though. So, uh, Answers the question, does size matter? Absolutely. Um, gained almost, well, I'd say close to 750, almost 800 gallons per hour just by upsizing the pipe. So I'm going to fine tune a few things here, clean up a little bit, and um, end this video. All right, so I'm back. Uh, lights are off in the tank now, so a little bit later, but. Um, decided to come back and shoot a quick, another quick update to this. Um, I have a problem that I never even anticipated. Um, my full siphon drains are completely open on both sides and there is so much flow that I still have this much water going through the emergency drains on both sides. Um, on this tank, the full siphon drains are um, one and a quarter inch. I do believe I really I can't see there so I can't tell for sure but I'm almost uh, positive that the full siphon are one and a quarter inch and then the emergency drains are actually uh, one and a half inch um, this tank was made uh, by glass cages and that's the, um, the measurements that I the whole sizes that I gave them when I had them build the tank so um, didn't anticipate this. Like I say, the full siphon drains are completely open on both sides, and I still have that much flow going through. Um, I want to check the uh, apex, and right now it's actually saying that I have 2,016 gallons power going to the display. So, wow is all I can say. Um, like I say, I still haven't cleaned up yet. I still haven't put the skimmer back together. Um, I have a solution. I'll just uh, push more water through the um, the frat tank once I have it up and going. It uh, won't be an issue. Um, so like I said, I still haven't even hooked the uh, flow sensor back up for that yet. Um, so I've got to drill a couple holes on this side of the frat tank for the um, Overflow. Um, got all my stuff from Amazon today, so either I stay up late tonight and do this, or get up really early in the morning. Uh, I'm not really concerned about the tank overflowing. Like I said, for the emergency drain, definitely covering that. Um, but it's a quick update. Too much flow, so the Herbie emergency drains are working overtime.